the pandemic has had an impact on so many aspects of life, but now a new study is showing the number of couples filing for divorce skyrocketing. Local 5's Elias Johnson has more. For better or worse, till death or now, the pandemic do us part. We're all stressed out, and the search for a solution to COVID-19 continues, but sadly, not soon enough for a growing number of couples. New data compiled by Legal Templates, an online resource that provides legal documents for customers, shows requests for divorce papers jumping 34% in March through June of this year. Interest in separations during the quarantine peaking on April 13th, just about 15 to 20 days only into when the vast majority of states began lockdown. Quarantine clearly was not the honeymoon newlyweds in 2020 were hoping for as 20% of couples seeking a divorce were married just this year, far greater compared to couples who tied the knot in the past five years. My dad's divorced, my mom's divorced. And it's not just newlyweds finding more time together in the pandemic as not ideal. The rate of divorcing couples with children increasing. They found that during the crisis, 45% of couples that completed the divorce agreement had children under the age of 18. This represents a 5% increase from the same period last year. States in the South seeing the highest divorce rate as roughly 50% of that workforce is employed in what's considered high risk of layoff occupations, followed by the Midwest, which includes Iowa. The Northeast saw the lowest number of couples calling it quits. Last year, 6,586 married Iowa couples filed for divorce. Public health officials not sure if that number will be higher this year as fewer people are getting married. With no clear indication on when the stress of coronavirus may lift, remember there are resources available for couples to try and work things out. Several nonprofits offer free or low cost marriage counseling sessions and check with your church. Oftentimes, free support groups are available. In studio, Elias Johnson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.